Let's, uh, first off, we got like a bone, right? Yeah, let's do that. And, uh, not use the weapons we currently have equipped. Holy moly. Swap that back to main. I'll keep that on sub just to try it out there. I, I have a feeling, I don't know. That's weird that they ask you to swap your weapons right before your first boss fight. Can I, like, bloom that? Yeah, that's exactly what we can do. Lacquerware set. Okay, yeah, it's another treasure. We know the deal now. I don't know, I see a bulb, I just want to bloom, my man. What can I say? Oh, hey, convenient. Got that favorite snack. Good thing we got that extra HP when we did, too, yeesh. Like, that's kind of that's kind of lucky on our, our part. Yo, what is up? Oh, poor Yumi. I wonder if he's okay. Oh, hello there, doggy. You all alone, too? I'm Kokari. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Boy of the Forest, Kokari. What's this? What, this? This is my fishing pole. Actually, there's no fishing line on the... or hook on it right now. But there's a reason for that. Okay. My dog Yumi and I were exploring the sec a secret place the other day. An ancient building known as the Tsutsa Tsuda Ruins. We'd never been able to get into the ruins until we found a key deep in the forest. But when we went in, we heard a horrible roar from deep within. I didn't waste any time getting out of there. I locked the entrance to the ruins and hightailed it home. I thought Yumi had followed me, but he was nowhere to be found. I bet he's trapped back at those ruins. He must be crying all scared and alone. If you know where he is, then why don't you go rescue him? I just realized I kind of turned into an Isun voice at the end there. This is no time to be fishing. Yes, well, there's a reason for that. You see, on my way home from the ruins, I fell near the water's edge and went in went the key. I've tried my hardest to fish it back out, but I've lost all my line and hooks. All I have now is this pole. Wah. Okay, more dialogue? I've tried my hardest to fish out the keys to the ruins, but okay, yeah. I'm not sure why that is green. Do, do we just keep talking to him or what? Do we need a certain item? Man, this kid's a crybaby. Give him a good headbutt, Amy. Maybe that'll straighten him. Oh, okay. Huh. Ouch. Now cut that out. There's nothing I hate more than a crybaby. You were the one who left your dog in those dangerous ruins. So you gotta do whatever it takes to get the key and help go help him. But... Listen here, kid. Fishing's all about attitude. Attitude! There's nothing you can't catch with the right attitude. Fish, babes, or whatever. It can all be yours. Go ahead, act like you're having fun. We'll watch. Uh, alright. That's how, that's how fishing works. Okay, I, I did a thing there. Boy, this murky water sure gives me the creeps. People call it the deep abyss because they can't see the bottom. That's not why these waters are famous. Legend has it a humongous fish swallowed the moon reflected on the surface of the water. No one knows if the legend is true. But to this day, the moon never rises here in Agata Forest. Give the fairy tales a rest, will you, kid? They're so gloomy. Think more positive. Have fun fun! Okay, Amy. Let's use that celestial brush of yours to help him out. There should be a, some fishing line on his pole, but there's not. Well, I'll just make some by drawing a line from the pole to a fish. Okay. Draw a line connecting the fishing pole to the fish to get him to bite. Once the fish is hooked, left stick to in the opposite direction of its movement. Okay. Whoops, there was more there was more stuff there. If you pull too hard, the power gauge will move to the red area and the life gauge will begin to deplete. Uh, keep a close eye on the fish and don't overdo it. Okay. Uh, let me see that again. Okay. After you've reeled in the fish, a, an icon will display on the screen. Quickly raise up to the draw icon to pull the fish out of the water. Use the power slash to finish the catch. Okay. So let's write that boy. Yeah, you did. Careful now, kid. Don't pull with all your might. You just might wear yourself out. Just reel it in nice and slow. Okay. So, keep it in that green. Oh! Messed that one up. I didn't expect it to go come out so quickly. It's not like moving in any one direction.
Like, it's on... Okay. It's harder than it looks, I'll tell you that much. It's like putting motion controls in with it as well. This is actually kind of fun. I can see myself getting lost in this. Yes, you did, again. All right. Boom. It's about getting used to it. That's another goby. I'm going for the big ones. I'm assuming it's eventually we're going to have a giant fish, the one that swallowed the moon. Oh, okay. Well, eventually, he says. Yeah, you got a bite. That's not, like, ridiculously big. It just, it bothers me that even though he's on the right side of me, I should pull to the right because he's moving to the left. That's weird. Ooh, that's a big purple boy. Big purple boy. Look at that. You caught giant salmon. Okay. I always want to pronounce the L on it. You're not supposed to, of course. Okay. That's kind of fun. All right. All right. I see what you're doing. Of course, every Wii game has to have a... a uh, fishing minigame. Wow, that's a big one. Hmm? And then he spits out the moon. What? Hey! Th that's the ruins key. Yeah, that's a key. All right. It popped right out of the mouth of that big ol' fish. Now I can go say, U save Umi over at the ruins. I'm gonna go all the way in this time. No running away from me now. Neato burrito. And then we steal it. Hey, give that back! Hehe. <laughs> Good move, Amy. We can't have the kid getting it hurt on your watch. Well, what are we, what are we waiting for? We got a lost dog to find in Suda Ruins. Is this, a, is this a dungeon? I'm really excited to get into the dungeons because if, like, people... Oh, hey. Boy. Okay. Because, uh, like, if people are going to compare this to, like... I still have it good. If people are going to compare this to Zelda, that's where they really start getting good, right? Anyway, we have a lot of things to do before we go to the ruins. I don't want to... I'm going to have to carry this key all the way there, and I'm not sure if that's really going to affect anything, but still. we got some stuff to do. Got an exorcism slip S. Got that good stuff. Wooden bear. So another... Another treasure. Got all this. I'm surprised that did it. We did not get much of that, to be honest. Yeah, I, I kind of do like that a lot of this game is just going through and, you know, picking apart all these little tiny places to do whatever on. Some more bunnies. It's really fun to me, I don't know. It's, it's kind of that Breath of the Wild vibe, now that I think about it. Where, like, every area can have this tiny thing for you to do. Like, uh, getting a Korok Seed, or doing one of the... Oof, what are they even called? One of the little, like, Guardian Dungeon thingamadoos. There's a crack in the wall. A very shiny crack in the wall. There's a lot for us to explore now. There's a gate down there. Can we fight while we have the seed in our mouth? I'm worried about that. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna do it. Nope. Come on now. There we go. Got him. Just took a few tries. Get some ink. That good carrot. That good... What was that? A bell pepper? I don't know. It's another one of these. Hmm. Hey, get a load of this statue's face. It's got the same blank expression as you. Hee hee hee. Didn't... Did we do something with this before? Like, obviously, we must be supposed to. I don't know, man. I think that might be another do in the future thing, perhaps. It's just a weird thing for there to be, you know? So, we can can we fight with the seed in our mouth? The seed, the key. All right. Yeah, we can fight just fine. Huh. Is that dude dead? Yeah, we got that demon thing. 
Dude, we got a big... Okay, so what does our sub do? Are we, like, shooting a gun? I think we shoot a gun with our sub. Basically. Like... Oh, that's good. I need to move the way out of that. Oof. Alright, boy. I feel like... Huh. It's like, what situation would I do that instead of just swing at him? You know? Because that definitely seems to do more damage. I think I was supposed to get him there. Anyway, we floral finished it. Who cares? Aww. So close. I need a, I needed a pick-me-up after that really bad boss fight. To be fair. Is that... Is that, a, is that the boy? I forgot his name. It's been a long time since we've seen him. Is that... Yeah, it's, uh... Susano. Susano. Hmm, not to get you again, Fido. Tsst. Why must you... I hate saying... I don't know how to pronounce Tisk. Why must you always pl always dog my fo footsteps? Dog your footsteps. I'm busy practicing a new secret technique. You see, a terrible monster lurks in Taka Pass beyond, beyond this forest. It goes by the name Crimson something or other. And it's rumored to have a hundred followers. Well, I have like 200 on Twitter. What do you mean, Crimson something or other? The name slipped my mind, that's all. Anyway, I must rid of Taka Pass. I must rid Taka Pass of that terrible monster before it harms anyone else. But first, I must practice my ultimate secret technique. Then again, the bridge to Taka passes out, so why rush? But have no fear, once I master that technique, I shall venture forth to slay the beast, even if I have to swim those turbid waters. Now leave me be, you cur. I have some serious training to do. You cur. I'm gonna start using that as an insult to everyone. You cur. Uh, was there anything? Ooh, we got deer. Those would be herbs again, right? Yeah. Man, they, like, everything in their mom uses herbs. Herbs if you're nasty, but, uh... We're gonna need a lot of those, aren't we? Huh. Nothing. Nothing. He's just laying it down again. What a loser. Alright, anything else we missed here? Because there's a, there's a lot out here. And I don't really want to miss too much. Oh, more deer, but we have no herbs. How can we do things without herbs? There's another merchant boy. Got battle tips. Cool. Check them out. There are two important aspects of battle that you must be aware of. They are bonus. They are, they are the bonus system and what is known as the floral finisher. Let's first let's discuss bonuses. Bonuses provide a nice reward for particular well fought battles. We know about that. Um, yeah, defeat quickly and without taking damage. Um. This is the secret to netting a handsome bonus. Bonuses increase the amount of coins dropped by fallen foes. You may want to practice grabbing those dropped coins during battle. Next, we'll discuss the technique called the Floral Finisher. Time warps and slows at the moment a demon leaves its, this mortal coil. Use the brush at that instant to turn, a, turn their cadaver into flora. The res their resentment will crystallize into a demon fang. This required technique differs depending on the enemy type. You'll need to discover which celestial brush power to use. Tales abound of collectors enamored with these bewitching demon fangs. Okay, so it's basically telling us do floral finishers get demon fangs. Although they don't always give you demon fangs, do they? I need to read these. Since you filled, yeah, we know that. Which, what's this one? Straight to Suda Ruins, to the left, and right to Taka Pass. Okay. Well, we do want to go to Tsuda Ruins, and it does seem like we're going to come back through this area to go to uh, Taka Pass. So I guess let's go straight to the ruins for now. Just uh, because I know we need to come back through, it's not too much of a... It's not too bad if we miss miss out on some stuff on the first time through. I just kind of want to get this key out of my mouth. For now. Oh, it's literally the entrance is right here. Thought it was going to be a whole area thing. All right, and opened. So that's our first dungeon, isn't it? Like, it's gotta be, that's that's a ruins. Well, let's go look for that kid's dog. I'm actually hoping we might find something more. Nobody's entered these ruins for ages, right? Just think about it. There could be all, there could be a fabulous treasure hoard hidden in there. Hehehe. 
But enough talk, let's start looking. Cool, what's this? Uh, got enchant enhancing weapons. Oh, now that's that sounds interesting. Okay, divine instruments can be powered up with gold dust. This rare power is highly valued by merchants and traders. Use it once and the destructive power of a weapon is increased. Gold dust can be used only once and only on a single weapon. Note that even weapons powered up using this method cannot exceed the power of inherently stronger weapons obtained later. Interesting. So, hmm. Also a fish tome now, we got that now? So fishing is a whole ordeal here. We have a ton of fish to get. Oh, that's neat. Oh, I like that. We're gonna have another fishing stream sometime? Ooh. Treasure tome's starting to fill up. Okay. Neat. Well, I would end it off there. There's more deer. We need so many herbs. I'd end it off there, but we need a save point first. I, I want to do the dungeon all in one go. Okay, uh, is there maybe a... Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Suda Ruins, yeah, there's a save point. Yeah, this has got to be a dungeon. That's dungeon-esque if I've ever seen anything. Ever. Kind of reminds me... Oh, yay, Fortnite. Uh, kind of reminds me of uh, the Ancient Cistern from Skyward Sword, which is one of my favorite dungeons in any Zelda game ever. That's a pretty oddly shaped statue. Look at all that moss. Must have been here for ages. What's up with that weird water? I don't think you want to go jumping in there for a while. How about drawing some lily pads so we can check it out? Oh boy. We got lily pad drawing. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. See you in the next one. When we take on our first dungeon. This ought to be really fun. And hopefully we won't die. That'd be really neat if I could get through the game without dying. I don't know what the penalty would be. Probably just go back to your last save, which would suck. Anyway, see you all then, and goodbye.